Hi there, I'm Dr. Jawad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual healthcare plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues, I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15 minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face to face or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hi right, everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. There is a supplement that I talked about in my previous video, I have the link down below. Yes, it lowers your levels of cortisol, which manages your stress. It boosts dopamine, it increases testosterone, it lowers your prolactin levels in males. It doesn't affect your thyroid gland for, for people who have Hashimoto's or thyroid issues. It's good for males and females. It's phenomenal for movement disorders. It increases your learning. It helps treat diabetes. It helps improve your mood, your sleep. Wow, what are those? Thanks for watching. All right, hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for tuning in my channel. If you haven't done so already, three things. One, hit the subscribe button down below. Next to it is the bell notification. Hit the like button over there. And then actually one more thing, please leave a comment. Doesn't matter what the comment is. You like the video, you don't like the video, you like my shirt, you don't, you like the whiteboard, you don't. It doesn't matter. The goal is because YouTube is owned by Google and the more traffic I have on my videos, it actually expands my audience, which I always appreciate. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so in my previous video, and I have a link down below about dopamine and serotonin. Yes, if you take too much, you'll throw an imbalance off because remember it shares the same enzyme, the AAAD enzyme. One of the things I talked about was a supplement for dopamine and that's called Mucona Purians. Okay, Mucona Purians is a phenomenal supplement. It helps lower, low, it helps lower cortisol levels, which involves stress, boosts dopamine in a different pathway. It lowers prolactin levels and increases testosterone levels in males. It doesn't affect the thyroid gland. Females, Hashimoto's, hyperthyroid. It's good for males and females. It increases learning. It helps treat diabetes. It helps with mood. It helps with sleep disorders. Now that supplement is called Mucona purians, otherwise known as the velvet bean. Now when it comes to dopamine, and I explained this in my previous video, the reason why this supplement is awesome is because how is dopamine made? So you have first amino acid, L-tyrosine, which gets converted to L-dopa, which convert, gets converted to dopamine, gets converted to norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Now I have the constituents added on, okay? So it's important to have your B6, uh, folate, iron, magnesium, vitamin C, copper, and SAMe. So the thing is, now I talked in my previous video about L-tryptophan to 5-HTP, so we have a what's called a rate-limiting step, meaning that it's a safety mechanism. The same thing with when it comes to dopamine. You can't overload your body with L-tyrosine thinking it's going to roll over to L-dopamine. The problem is taking too much L-tyrosine is because it also goes down to the thyroid. Tyrosine and iodine, they go down and make thyroid hormone. Ty tyrosine okay, converts also to L-dopa. Problem is, yeah, let's take a boatload of tyrosine. No, because there's an enzyme. It's called tyrosine hydroxylase. Now what that does, that's the rate limiting step, meaning that you're only gonna use up what your body needs. But the problem is, it will go downstream and affect the thyroid, and this is not good. So tyrosine and L-dopa, they both support the catecholamine system, which is that's your drive, that's the adrenaline, that's the norepinephrine, that's the epinephrine drive. Yes, it crosses this nice cellophane wrap protective barrier called the blood-brain barrier. The thing about mucana is that it's, a, it's, a, it's supplementing L-dopa, but the thing is though, it doesn't affect the thyroid levels because tyrosine supports the normal L-dopa levels without fluctuating. Now there's two things, there's a couple different ways you could affect the dopamine. Yes, medical base, they'll inject with L-dopa. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about 
the natural way with supplementation. Okay, so what is dopamine? Where is it produced? What's the big deal about this dopamine that we hear so much about? <laughs> okay, so dopamine, it's found in the cells of the substantia nigra. Now that is part of the brainstem. It's, in, it's involved with the basal ganglia. It's involved with movement. It's a lot of functions about dopamine. One, it modulates pain perception and natural analgesia. So it modulates the pain perception, meaning how hot and cold is this. It helps with movement coordination. It helps with learning cognition, the reward system. Again, if you hear about Parkinson's, yes, it affects the, best, the basal ganglia. So the neurons use dopamine. The neurons, which are all the wires they use to communicate with each other, they use dopamine within other regions of the basal ganglia for communication. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. If the neurons deteriorate and die, what happens is that the brain is unable to control the movement. I always say it's kind of like it's a light switch. You have it either on or off. When it comes to basal ganglia disorders or movement disorders, it's a dimmer. It's a dimmer switch. It's not fully on, it's not fully off. So how do you have a deficiency of dopamine? Now it could be neurological, it could be inherited, it could be genetic. It could be depression. Depression zaps how the way the brain operates. You could have just low L-tyrosine. You could have a poor diet. Obesity, drug use, drug abuse will affect how this goes. If you look at prescription medication, prescription medication does two things. It either speeds up the body or slows it down. Now there's a lot of prescription medications which the side effect is a movement disorder, dystonia. Okay, so let's talk about this supplement, Muconopurians. Now again, it's, uh, it's otherwise known as the velvet bean, okay? What it does, it helps increase dopamine secretions from the adrenal glands, okay? Because it affects here. It bypasses that. So it is, increases the secretions from the adrenal glands, but also too, it increases the GnRH in the pituitary gland, which also converts the increase of LH. This is for males. So in turn, this is gonna help increase sperm production. It inhibits prolactin levels. Now prolactin, yes, prolactin in males and females. Prolactin increases in females, why? Because for breast tissue to produce milk for babies. It can do the same thing for men. What happens is when men are around and they're, very, they're around a comfortable situation with their family, Okay, increased prolactin levels will decrease testosterone levels, which will decrease dopamine levels. This is why married men really kind of lose their drive, if you know what I'm talking about. It's not because they're disinterested, it's because the increase of prolactin will lower that drive system. It's a safety mechanism for the family man. Now, normal men could actually do it as well because with diet, obesity, and so forth and so on, okay? So what happens, you want this, hit, it lowers the, pro, the prolactin levels, which again, when, you have, when men have high prolactin levels, what is the cause? Impotence, low libido, lower testosterone, hair loss. Okay, so let's talk about muconopurians, a supplement. It's great, again, it's, it's great for males and females. So what this does, the main trigger it does, it increases the dopamine secretions from the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands, this is your adaptogenic glands. They sit on top of the kidneys, okay? But also what this does, increases the GnRH and the LH in the pituitary gland for men. So this is how it stimulates the testosterone release. Now again, for females, it's okay. It doesn't work this way for females. What happens, it increases the prolactin release. Now, what's prolactin? Prolactin for females, it increases the milk production in the mammary glands when she, need, when she wants to feed her baby. Men, you, we could get also increased prolactin levels. How? By being around a family. It's a safety mechanism. So this is the family man who's kind of lost his drive, okay? Lowers his testosterone a little bit, if you know, if you know what I'm talking about. The married man, it's a family man, it's, it's made for safety. Now, normal men, we could get it as well with other mechanisms. The thing is, when you have high prolactin levels in your blood, males, it leads to impotence, low libido, low testosterone, hair loss. Does this sound like a typical married man? 
But also, again, normal men can do it as well with diet, medications, obesity, so forth and so on. So I'm just picking on the married men. Mucana is a phenomenal, it's a potent antioxidant which helps free up free radicals. It's great for stress relief. It's a great antitoxin. It has an activation of adrogen receptors. So it increases your testosterone, increases sperm volume. Now again, for females, it doesn't work this way. So you're okay. It decreases overall inflammation because it's a powerful antioxidant, which means it lowers stress, it lowers anxiety, it improves digestion, it improves, improves mental clarity, it improves mental clarity because it works with dopamine for the brain. This treats movement disorders. Eucanapurians treats movement disorders because it activates with the dopamine system. What do I, how much do I take? Now, the, it depends on what your goal is. You could take Mucana before you go to bed to promote sleep behavior. You can take anywhere from 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams, okay, a day. And what you want to do, you want to spread this out four to five times a week, but you still want some time off only because you don't want to hit tolerance levels. Now, if you take it before bedtime and empty stomach, yes, it'll improve sleep because dopamine is evolved with sleep. Movement, restless leg syndrome. Or if it gets you agitated and you can't sleep at night, take it in the morning, empty stomach. Okay, you still want to do four or five times a week with two or three days off. Now, remember what this does this helps improve movement, it helps improve sexual function, desire. So, the long term effects, possible long term effects, is nausea, agi agitation, tremors, increased movement because you're feeding too much into the system, and I'm sorry to say, increased libido. I'm just going to drop the mic right there. But again, if that's the case, just back off. Just slow it, just back it off a little bit. Okay? So I hope this helps. Please leave a comment down below. I appreciate it. Again, please hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Be good. All right, thank you for watching the video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. In addition, if you find that this information is valuable, and if you want a free 15-minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It'll take you to my website. Again, we could talk either face-to-face, -face, on Zoom, or on a phone call. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.